Hello guys and welcome back to another Sons of the Forest guide. This time we're looking at tree houses because I think I figured them out. I think they are the most OP item or buildable in the game and we're going to talk why in a moment. Uh, but first of all, we need to find a tree that we can use because all of these are um, very bushy. I mean, this one's not too bad. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll do it off this one, this skinny one. Now the reason why this is so OP is that the mutants, as far as I know, and also the cannibals, do not attack the trees themselves. So if we build a tree, it uh, doesn't really matter which, let's just do one of these, uh, a tree platform on top, they're not going to attack this, and so we're safe up there, providing that we don't have cannibals running up the trees and then jumping across. So in that eventuality, we are going to have to get out the chainsaw and uh, do a little choppy choppy, which you can see here. Should be pretty quick. And so the idea is that we can chop down all the trees around us and we'll be safe. But I hear you all shouting, it's such a small platform. How could you possibly do anything good with that? Well, we're going to be playing with that today. So if you do find this video helpful, please do hit the thumbs up. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, let's get into it. Oh, and I was uh, asked the question that if we have tree uh, houses next to one another, can we connect them? Well, you can via rope bridge, but that doesn't really help you because they're still on separate grids. I'd much rather build a massive how tree house if possible. And that's what we're going to attempt to do. Something that maybe you haven't seen yet. Well, that's better. Now that we've got this little platform, we can start to build. Now there were two problems with the, uh, with my first thoughts of tree house building. The first was, sure, we can, we can build from the trunk of the tree and build a platform out that from that way, but that will leave us with various platforms in the ground, which isn't good because cannibals and the the mutants will destroy that and then the whole thing will come like falling down like a stack of cards. And then the other option is to build on top of there and it will be a really small buildable unless we extend outwards. Then it occurred to me that we can build out from here. And so, for example, I'm going to place this down. Now that we place this down, anything that we connect to this is going to be on the same grid as this one. And this is where the interesting thing comes. So for example, oh, by the way, we're not using any any bugs. This is simply the way the game is designed. Um, you'll you'll note that we're not trying to make the, the platform just to hover in, in the air, which I've seen going around recently. This is 100% viable for anyone who wants to uh, to do it. But we're just going to build off here and make sure that they're all on the same grid. At this point, it doesn't really look like much. All I've done is place a pillar out on each side and then lifted it up. And then from that, I've added an extra single quarter log and so that it's all level. And this is where it starts to get interesting. So what we're going to do here is we're going to place our full logs. We'll grab a couple more and we're going to, in fact, we can we can go out from here. We can run up here and place these down. And we're going to do this on each side and then we're going to grab a supporting log. And so we're going to place this just in the center section here. Then once we're done, we're going to remove these. Now, at first, this doesn't seem that important, but believe me, this is pretty big because we're going to slowly build out just by extending the grid on the floor and just rinse and repeat the process until we've built up staggering it really high. I feel like I'm doing some kind of obstacle course at the moment. We'll head over here and jump onto this one. Then up here, place that down. This needs to be brought up, which means we need to do this one next. And then from here, we can grab some more wood. And then from here, we're lifting it up again. And now we need to do a support again. And with the support, we can either do a half log or a three quarter log. From here, we can slap that in there. 
remove this one, remove these logs, <laughs> and you can see where this is going. So I'm going to start building outwards and we'll see where we get to in a moment. So this build is definitely going to be time consuming because the amount of work that goes into building the supports so that you can build the struts into uh, the build. But you can see how we've done one side and we're about halfway up the tree now. So I may have just died by a falling tree, but <laughs> you can see the build's coming along. I have to admit, uh, the problem is, uh, is that whenever you support it, it allows you to support another piece. And I don't think there's a, a limit to how high we can build. So in theory, we could, we could build out as much as we want, providing we have space on land, which we don't have that much here, and providing we have logs and we're slowly getting through the forests. <laughs> it's ridiculous. We could keep expanding once we get over that hill. Uh, um, the only way that they could really fix this, um, this perfectly balanced treehouse that we're developing is by making it a bit like the Valheim build system where you can only build X amount of blocks away from the ground level or like a grounded piece without it collapsing. Uh, because this, I, I could spend out, I've already done about four hours in this build. We could, we could just stay up all night building this out and see how far we go. This, this is kind of broken. And obviously, just before we go any further, if you are enjoying this, guys, please do like the video and share it with your friends. And obviously, if you want to see more of my content, make sure to subscribe. We're new to Sons of the Forest and the survival genre, and I'd love for you to, to join in with our community. Balls, <laughs> it's wonky. Um, I don't know how I manage that. It looks like we're gonna have to go up another level because I'd rather not delete it. But the perfect thing with doing a build like this is it takes ages, which means I get the perfect opportunity to listen to the music of, not what I intended to do, listen to the music that we produced and chill to it while building. Uh, if you're interested, there is a link to my Spotify in the description below. And if you're a content creator, you can use it for free in your videos and your streams. Do not worry, it's copyright free. So it's getting pretty difficult to send items up to the top. So I've decided it's time to add a few log storage. Hopefully this isn't going to make things too complicated for me. Uh, currently we have a zip line to get up here, except it's on the floor beneath us. So we're going to demolish that, grab out the rope gun, reload it. Please don't knock me off the edge. Okay, you can aim. Apparently you can't aim. Maybe we're a bit too high. <laughs> it, won't, it won't let us target it. Just pop it in there and they will drop into the log holder. There we go, perfect. Ready for us to collect and work with. Yes, I feel this is the right height for us. We are going to now build this out and we're going to remove the supports. And then we're going to add on to this because we can't just go out in a little T system. I mean, we could do an X, but I think if we add a few supports on the outside, we can do a similar system reaching outwards. Hmm, just a little broken. A little update on how it's going. It's coming along. We're sending the logs to the top right now and paving this all out. And then from there, we can fill this section in. And we also have that much room for a, an extension later on as well. I've only placed the the walls, the, the build, the footprint, one further out on each side at the moment. We could go further, but it's taking a lot of time. Uh, and really, I just want to show you just how broken it is rather than oh, balls. That keeps happening. <laughs> Whilst we're down here, I have been asked a few times in the comments whether I could share my save. Now, I do share my satisfactory saves over on Patreon. If that's something that you'd like me to do for the forest, then I can upload them on there. So as you can see, I've been tearing down the supports and poor Kelvin, a log landed on him, but it's doing that bug where I can't actually heal him now. So it looks like this might be the end of the line for him. Uh, I'm sorry, mate. 
If you are enjoying my builds, I do recommend checking out my other ones. We've got a floating lake house build, and we've also done a waterfall temple um, build, which I think is pretty cool. I think you might like it, so do check them out. I'll put links in the cards above so you can see them if you want. Now, I can't work it out, but for some reason, this log and these uh, logs cannot be... Um, broken down and I don't know why I think at one point I was placing the logs within the logs there was a weird kind of bug with it and now I don't really have a way of removing them um, I can knock it down but it's registering as a support piece and so nothing I try at the moment is working and I'm worried it might collapse oh come on takes so long to destroy it. There we go. Okay, so that one was fine. That didn't do anything at all. Try this one. If in doubt, just uh, give it a whack. See, this one was much easier. Look at that. It's sort of... Oh! Why? So I reloaded the game and two things. First of all, Kev is dead. He's gone. <laughs> just one of those bugs, I guess. The second thing, I fixed it, kind of. Um, so the way we fixed it, I just added supports underneath. So you can see that it's, it doesn't have anything underneath it, um, but we haven't been able to remove the actual the wooden planks. So we're just going to have to live with that. In fact, I think what we might do is place these either side if we can and just make it look like it's an artistic choice i am pretty happy with how this is turning out we've uh, got a zip line up we've got our logs coming up slowly but they're, they're getting there currently i'm cutting the logs into half blocks so that we can have our inner little area and then on the outer section we have a lower bit Oh dear lord, that wasn't the plan. Oh, and I didn't make a save either. Balls. The tree house is coming along nicely, as you can see. It's looking more like a, a tree fort, I guess you would say. Um, I'm just trying to work out the best way to make sure that we're getting all the right roof points. And I think we're going to have to add another half point here. Remove this. Um... And then we can place that on top. Sweet, okay, that's working. Like so, and then we're gonna do the same on this side as well. The only thing is there is a load of branches and I'm reluctant to even attempt. I think we're too high up in the tree to do that. The slight downside of having this wonderful view <laughs> branches in your face <laughs> here we are the finished treehouse build and as you can see i mean it's a little ugly let's be honest but we could extend this a lot more and make it a lot more pretty but i've, I've only concentrated on doing the top section um there's a lot of fallen logs that didn't make it to the storage but i'll, I'll give you a little grand tour we'll go up this way um but as you can see, if we go up here, we have plenty of optional floors, which we haven't used yet, um, like this large one here or this one uh, that are ripe for the taking, which we could use maybe some kind of system with the, uh, the rope to get to. Uh, or alternatively, we could do it with a ladder if they bring that um, to the game soon. We have a little area for our bed. We also have a log area. I don't know why that's that there we go and we also have a little place that we can watch the the sunset but i i have to say this was a fun little build i hope you enjoyed my approach at this i think we need a window here i hope you enjoyed seeing what we did and finding out how you can do something like this yourself again it does come down to how you use your struts and I think this is a little bit OP, to be uh, to be honest. Just imagine how big you could go with this. Guys, if you did like this video, please do hit the thumbs up and let me know what you'd like me to build in the next 
video in the comments below. And obviously, if you do enjoy this stuff, don't forget to subscribe. But as always, special thanks does go to all of our amazing supporters, most notably our Solo Clips patrons, James Irwin, Fireflesh, and Treble, as well as our Lunars, The Calamity, Ben, Star, Shoku, The Emon Wolf, and That Dude, A.W., as well as our Blood Moon of the Day, which today is The City Rat. Until next time, as always, ciao for now.